Hey guys, it's Matthew. Bring you a quick, or at least I'll try to be quick, little video guide on how to take advantage of this thing right here. The Tier 3 Tempest Room. It brings Corrupting or Radiating Tempest to your um, temple. It's always been Corrupting for me, so I don't know if Radiating is for higher tiers. I don't know how or what's going on, but for me it's always been Radiating. Or sorry, it's always been Corrupting. So what it does is basically, I'm going to go in the temple right now. And I'll show you guys quickly. It does these little red things on the ground. These little red circles, whenever you get in there, oh, that didn't even work. That's kind of fat, kind of sad. Let's see. Okay, you get corrupting tempest. Items you find are corrupted. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, my item filter on none. Because for this, you actually want to see pretty much every item because they can be insane uh, just because of the corruption on them. So what you do is you just run around, you wait for one, and then whenever you have one, you kill things. And it lasts for five seconds, and then another one appears, and you keep going. Kill things, kill things, then I wait, get the other one, kill a bit more things. Oh, there's nothing to kill. That's sad. But anyways, to show you guys, these are the kind of items that drop. So, you know, some corrupted whatever stuff. The reason why this is extremely powerful, I'll show you guys a bit. If we can get some uh, good procs going. So we've got four seconds. That's a five link. Um, let's see. Try not to die. Wait for a good little tempest over here. Maybe someday. Any day now. It didn't take a while to find them. Because uh, I'm trying not to die, so I have to move out, move around a lot. But whenever you do find one, get a few flash charges real quick. Oh my god. This is, like, really unlucky. Up. Uh, that didn't work. Keep going. Anyways, normally it doesn't take all that much time. This is kind of insane. Just get a few flash charges. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. Oh, I can't believe this. Wow, this whole video is just going to shit. That didn't even work. Mm -hmm, we're running around in circles. Okay, yeah, there we go, finally. So, as you can see, whenever we do get one, most of the time we're going to get a six link. A six link is a divine, a divine is something like a chaos. So, every single room you clear, or almost, is going to give you basically a chaos. Because you're going to get pretty much one big drop, like one six link per room, honestly. Like, really easily. It's not even rare. It's not uncommon or anything. So, and then you can go through, if you want, uh, through all the little items on the ground. Because some of them might have corruption on their, um, um, on their, uh, what's it called again? Mm, implicits. And those can get you some pretty damn good items that are worth a lot. So whenever you do have this kind of temple, uh, or this kind of corruption going on, Tempest, I would say every single time you should clear the entire temple and take as, as much time as you, you need because it is extremely, extremely, extremely worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do one real, right here real quick. If we can get a Tempest somewhere. Run around, run around. Tempest, Tempest, where are you? It's really sad because I'm trying to make this video and there's like none. Uh, typically it's not that hard at all to just get them over and over and over again. So this is making me a bit sad. Oh, that didn't even work. You have to be kind of in it 
if you're on the edge too much, it's just not going to proc, which kind of sucks. I feel like the uh, radius should be a tiny bit better, or at least a little bit more accurate. But I'm just going to do this room real quick. Show you guys uh, what kind of item you're going to get. And here's another six link. Now it's gone. We just wait for another one. Pick this up maybe someday. Okay, here. Sadly, nothing here. So yeah, it's Corrupting Tempest. It's really, really strong. As you can see, you're getting some massive items. Every single thing is corrupted. What's great about corruptions on items is that not only is it really good because you can get six links, but pretty much every single item is going to be six socket as well. So if you're not getting the vines, you're at least getting uh, a good amount of jewelers, which, you know, in the end is also good currency. Jewelers is probably my main source of income. Uh, this kind of sucks, though, seriously. I should just kill him before he kills me. But yeah, typically when you're running around the, the temple, uh, it's going to be a lot less hard to find these corrupting tempests. A lot easier than this. Oh, it looks like I'm full. Sorry about that. Rip ears. I mean, I'd love to just kill this guy. Oh, am I going to die? Nope, I'm good. Oh, am I good? Woo! Okay. So there we have it. Uh...